Uh, just playing basketball. I mean, we got a um, different style of play tonight, just moving the ball around. They're an aggressive defensive team, so if you pass the ball, um, I mean, we'll, we'll get good shots the majority of the time tonight, but it was just picking my spots and when to, when to just, just move it on. When I got two people in front of me and when to just try to uh, continue to attack. So um, I think everybody did a good job of sharing the basketball tonight and, and getting good shots. George, you had a tough time shooting the ball in the first half, but then obviously <coughs> you were able to find your rhythm. What kind of clicked that perhaps on? Um, you know, I mean, obviously sometimes shots aren't going to go in, but you still got to go out there and be aggressive. So I definitely wanted to do that, you know, going into the second half and a couple of them fell and sometimes you get lucky when, when some of the shots fall. George, have you ever gotten an MVP chance in a game like that? That's yeah, that was, uh, Joel told me to never let that happen again. So, <laughs> no, I mean, that, the fans here have been great and have welcomed me with open arms. So I'm super thankful. There were a few times when you showed some emotion too, with the and one, with, uh, on a turnover, with the three. Just like, what what were you feeling, kind of in, in those moments? I mean, I'm I'm a player that plays off emotion, and you know, when uh, I don't have the swagger like Seth, so I I can't pull some stuff off. But so when I show my emotion, that's you know natural and and really how I feel. I'll probably have to hold back a little bit sometimes to get to be a little too much. But that's really how I was feeling. I was excited. I was pumped. We needed energy you know, to keep the lead with them, especially in the third quarter. So that, that was just natural emotion. For both of you, when did you find out that Tobias wasn't going to be able to go tonight? And just how did that change things in your mind, if at all? Uh, I found out probably, I don't know, 45 minutes before the game. Um, and just, I mean, just, you know, you're going to get a little bit more opportunity, especially guys off the bench, a little more opportunity to play. And, um, but for me, just approach it the same way, try to be aggressive. Attack, uh, attack when I have the opportunities, and and um, that's pretty much it. Just try not to put too much pressure on yourself. Just go out and play the same way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I, to piggyback off of uh, what Seth said, you know, we kind of have a next man mentality, and you know, this was a game we knew we had to come in and, and win. You know, especially when it's at home, uh, West Coast team. So you, you definitely want to get that win and. I think you know everybody stepped up and contributed, and, and this was a big team win for us. Coach said he appreciated when you play Utah Jazz basketball. Uh, <laughs> and that's what he said, George. Yeah. Uh, well, I I appreciate him. You know, uh, the reason why I'm here is is because of him. You know, having a phone call with him over free agency was huge for me, um, deciding to come here. Uh, but yeah, I, I try to play the right way. I, I know my limitations, and I, I know myself. So. That was a pretty aggressive defense you guys played against. I guess what, what changes when you have you know guys blitzing you and trapping you? You gotta be willing to move it. Um, I mean, they show they show aggression on on the on the ball early on, and if you move it, you just gotta trust that you'll find an open shot. So, um, I mean, like George was saying, I mean, early in the first half, he was knocking down shots, but he knew those shots, same shots, would be there in the second half, just the way they play defense. So, um, like I said, when I'm coming off the ball screen, it's my job to just to draw two and then move it on. And I think everybody tonight was unselfish, moving the ball, getting good shots. And um, that's that's why we were able to, to get the win. You guys didn't have much practice time, Seth. Uh, not much because of the scheduling <coughs> it was. So they have a little mini winning streak right now. How satisfying is that for a team that hasn't been able to really come together yet? I mean, we got smart players that I mean, know how to play the game. Um, so I mean, these are some of the games we expect to win. Even with guys down, you got to take care of home court um, if you want to if you want to uh, be a playoff team. So um, you can't make any excuses. You got to go out there and play. And um, I know I feel like we're even when we're winning games, we're, we feel like we're getting better in the process. What did you try to do as a small ball five? What were you trying to you know accomplish out there? Uh, you know, I was I was trying to manipulate the defense. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, my shot is a, is a threat. So if I could get two guys on the ball, like Seth was saying, and then get off and get the ball movement or you know, drive bad closeouts, which I, I had a couple of opportunities to do. Uh, that's what I was trying to do. The biggest thing for me is I was trying to get into the paint and, and find guys either for drop down uh, layups or dunks or for uh, three, point, three pointers. I think you know, their, their defense is set on you know, getting out and pressure in the ball, and, and we did a good job of exposing that. Can I ask a question about the lack of practice time just because of the schedule and playing every other day and the travel and whatnot. Just when you, when you both come in on, a, on an off day and get your own like, individual work in, like, can you kind of just take me through what that routine is like? I mean, I'm sure you're both putting up tons of shots given what you do, but just kind of what do you try to accomplish on those days even when maybe 
the whole group doesn't get together and do five on five stuff? Uh, you know, I think the biggest thing for, for me is just to come in and be a professional, right? Uh, I think everybody knows, uh, if they don't, the coaches are there to help you, uh, what you know what your body needs and what reps you need to get and stuff that you need to work on maybe that you haven't had as much time to work on. And uh, you, you just have to be a true professional. And uh, I, I come in and I, I know what I, I need to work on. I know what my body needs. This is my sixth year in here. Um, but, you know, credit to our young guys, they even come in and, and they're playing pickup against each other. So, you know, uh, I, I think it's different for every player, but I think guys do a great job of holding each other accountable here to, to get in the gym and get their work in. So even though we may not practice, you know, uh, a lot of guys get a ton of work in, you know, on those days that we don't have games. Seth, because you played here last year, what would you say that George Niang adds to the team this year? Make this, uh, make this good, bro. I got you. I got All you. Right. you know, uh, I mean, first of all, he knocked down shots. So, that means a threat out there offensively. Um, you got to guard him first and foremost. But then he's a, uh, I mean, underrated playmaker. He's putting the ball on the floor and making the right decision, whether it's score or 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 passing. And um, just a smart player offensively. He's just reading the defense, mixing in good screen slips. Um, so, I mean, he's an easy guy to play with. That's... I tried to be the same way. Tried to pride myself on playing, being smart, and, and being an easy guy to play with. And, and um, I mean, that's, he showed that tonight. Just, just helping everybody out there on the floor, especially the young guys that he played with in that second unit. And um, just gave us big minutes. George, you talked about narrow your limitations, but what's it been like in this situation where you're actually encouraged to put the ball on the floor and do some more expansive things? Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, obviously our coaching staff, Doc, has, has given me the opportunity to grow and, and show what I actually, you know, can do and not, you know, really have give me any limitations. So it's been great, you know, to it's only been a couple of games, but to continue to grow here, especially expanding my game and, and helping the team win, I think that's the biggest thing that I, I've taken out of this, you know, with the limitations that I do have, it it still stays within team basketball and helps us win. Is this someone like I would say for you? Last one, guys. <laughs> Uh, the NBA is a lot different than Iowa State, but yeah, you can say something like that. Thanks, guys. Thank you.